This assignment is going to walk you through how to view feedback from your instructor. Now, not every assignment has feedback. It might be that your instructor just gives you, you know, an 8 out of 10 or something like that. But a lot of times your instructors are going to give you feedback, whether that takes the place of comments or annotations, which simply means they put their comments directly on your assignment. You know, like this paragraph should be moved or something like that. So, but we want to make sure that you can read those. I mean, it makes sense. Your teacher is giving you information about why you got the grade you got, stuff that worked good, stuff that you need to improve, how to get a better grade next time. So we want to make sure that you can view that so that you can get that better grade next time. Okay, a quick note before we get started on this. Um, we have to do a bit of clicking in order to find these and the path is a little bit different depending upon whether you're on a computer or an Apple iOS device or an Android. So what we're going to do is walk you through the computer version first. When we're done with that, we're going to loop back around, do it a second time on an iOS device, and then do it a third time on an Android device. If you don't want to watch all three, I understand. If you're on YouTube, there's a table of contents underneath this video. Click on the link and it'll take you directly to the version that you want. Okay, but we're going to start with the computer version and it starts off pretty easy. You simply click on the class and go to the class that the assignment is in. Okay, there's a couple of different ways to get to it, but the easiest is probably simply to click on grades. All right, and from this we get some good information. We see, you know, our student feedback assignment, we see the due date, we see we got an 85 out of 100, and we've got a couple of icons there. One tells us that there's a comment from our instructor. So we click on it and go, oh, okay, so it was a good job, but next time I need to really work on making sure my citations are right. That makes sense. Okay, the thing next to that, this icon lets me know that there is a rubric that I was graded on. So I can click on that and that tells me a little bit more about why I got 85 out of 100. So I can see, oh, I got 20 of 20 on these things here, but on citations, I only got 15 out of 20 because my bibliography was incomplete. So I can go through and see why I got the grade that I got. All right, so that's a lot of good information, but the problem is a lot of students are stopping right here because it makes sense. I see my grade, I see my comment. What we want you to do is make sure that you click on this link here, the name of the assignment, and that's going to bring you to another page, the submission details page. Okay, and you see the same information, you see the grade. If it's there, you see a rubric. By the way, in this box here, you can comment back to your instructor. You know, it can just be something as simple as thanks for the feedback, or you can say, I don't understand why that second paragraph should be moved, or I don't understand why I got this grade, or your comment, or something like that. So you can have a dialogue back and forth. All right, but the one thing we really want you to be aware of is this link that says view feedback. This is where you see the feedback directly from your instructor. Okay, so you click on that and it loads up your submission, but you'll notice right here, it has your instructor annotations here. So for example, on mine, my instructor's giving me some feedback saying that this sentence doesn't need to be there and that I'm using some terms and I never define my terms, which is good feedback going forward. If I'm gonna put some words in my uh, essay, I need to make sure that everybody understands what those words mean and how I'm defining it. So that's feedback that I wanna remember the next time I type an essay. Okay, so we can go here, we can look at it, we can get all those annotations. If it's pretty simple and straightforward, great, you're done. One quick note, if it's a long essay or if it's a long assignment with lots of annotations and feedback, you can actually click on this download icon and it'll download a PDF with all those annotations saved so you have it for future reference. Okay, so that's the basic thing. Again, if you go to this page, you can see your grade, and if it's available, your rubric, your comments, your annotations. So we want to make sure that everyone views this page on their assignments to get all that information. Okay, that's it. What we're going to do now is exactly what we said. We're going to circle back and show you how to do the same process with an iOS device and then show you how to do it on an Android device. In order to view instructor feedback on an iOS device, we start by simply opening up the app, log in if you need to, and then click on the class that you would like to view. We're going to click on grades to get a list of graded assignments and then simply click on the assignment we want, in this case student feedback assignment. All right, that's going to pull up our grade. We see the 85 out of 100, but we want to click on the submission and rubric link. That gives us a lot more information. So you see on the bottom half of the screen, you can see all of the instructor comments, maybe giving us reasons why we got a grade or how to improve next time. So that's the bottom half. On the top half, we can look for any annotations from the instructor. So if you scroll down, you'll see those markers there. If you click on one of them, 
you'll see a comment bubble pop up. Click on the comment bubble and you can actually read the comment from your instructor. Okay, so we're gonna read that. If we're done, click done. If you have any questions, you can actually respond back to your instructor asking for clarification and then send that to them. When we're finished, click done and that will take us back to our initial screen. Okay, one last thing we can do, if it's available, we can click on the rubric and see how we got the grade, how the points were assigned. So we click on that rubric link and we can see exactly how we got those 85 points out of 100. Okay, once again, we're done with that. We can go back to the main screen and that shows us or that gives us all the information available. All right, next up, we're gonna show you how to do the same process on an Android device. New instructor feedback on an Android device. First of all, we open up the app, okay? Make sure that you're logged in if you're not. And this will take us to our dashboard. Go find the class we're looking for. In this case, we're looking for widget making. So we scroll down, we click on that. And there's a couple of different ways to get there, but the easiest is simply to click on grades. That'll bring up a list of our graded assignments. So we click there and we're looking for that bottom assignment, the student feedback assignment. So we'll click on that to get our feedback. Okay, so this pulls up the assignment page. We wanna click one more time down at the bottom, that submission and rubric link. That pulls up the instructor feedback, okay? So when we're on this page, the first thing that happens is there might be annotations. So we can scroll up and down on our assignment and we see, okay, there are some annotations here. So if I click on one, for example, that pin, and then click on the dialog box that comes up, I can see the comments from my instructor. So I can read all the comments there and then uh, reply if I need to respond back, if anything is unclear. All right, we click on the X to go back to the main screen and click on that comments tab. That pulls all the general comments about the assignment, maybe why we got a certain grade. Okay, we can also click on the Files tab to see the document we submitted, and if it's available, click on the Rubric tab to see exactly how we got that 85 points out of 100. So I can scroll down and see the actual rubric. You know, I got 20 out of 20 on length and 20 out of 20 on grammar. Okay, so that's how to get the feedback that from your instructor, whether it's comments or annotations. So we do hope that you um, click on that link every time and see if there's any additional information to help you succeed in your assignments in the future.